I had a call with Richard Unger. He created this hand analysis system years and years ago. I had my first fingerprint hand reading based on his system almost 10 years ago at this point. And what I love about that system is there's not a lot of room for interpretation in it. It really is a system that you look at what prints you have and specifically based on those, it tells you stuff about yourself. And for me, it's been incredibly helpful and insightful to learn about myself. What this system will give you is your life purpose and your life lessons. So purpose is why you're here, what you're here to do in life. And your life lessons are the things that you're going to come up against, the roadblocks, if you will. And it also gives you an overview of a variety of gift markings. I think there's 18 different gift markings that you can have in your hands that give additional nuance. And for me, that kind of stuff has always been very helpful to me. There's certain types of people who have a hard time really knowing themselves because it's always in motion. There are other people who think stuff like this is completely silly because they have a very clear sense of self, very defined sense of self, which is cool. Nothing good or bad or wrong or right with either one of those. But for someone like me who doesn't have that clear sense of self, things like this can be a really helpful framework or just reminder of things. And then the way I look at things like this, any kind of, whether it's Myers-Briggs or hand analysis or human design or whatever, I look at it as information. Like I take that, I look at it, I reflect on it. And maybe there's something here that gives me a different perspective. If it's useful, if it seems right, then I'll take it and use it. If it doesn't seem right, I consider, is there something I'm not seeing? And if it doesn't seem like it's really giving me anything or is useful, and then I'll just throw it away, right? I'm not religious about these things. And I don't care really like what's the source and where does it come from? And can I trust it? Because I don't even give a crap out of that stuff. It's just, here's information. If it seems like it's useful, take it and run with it. One of the things that this particular conversation did was just double down on my abilities as a spiritual teacher. So the way he laid it out, my life purpose is spiritual teacher, big shot and shaman. And then on top of that, I have a few others to deep talents for dealing with deep grief and rage and those like deep, dark, strong emotions and a few others. And he was like, as good as you are software, you're a hundred X that when it comes to this domain as a shaman spiritual teacher. So just having something like that reflect it is really helpful. And he also reframed my lesson in a different way, which was also very helpful and more actionable. So it's like, all right, now I know that and I can hone in on that and be like, that's actually, that is the thing that I need to do in order to get to live my purpose. So knowing those things very clearly and very specifically is great. It's awesome. Like I know what I need to do, right? I know the direction, the blueprint here. I'm sharing this in order to inspire you to see what having a tool like this might do for you. I don't get, get any kickbacks from Richard or any other people. I just love this tool so much because it's really helped me. But the information is already there. Like we don't necessarily need these tools. I just love that they're available.